Hi everyone, welcome to day one of a simple fit two week plant based cooking challenge. So, the whole premise of our challenge is over the next two weeks, every day, I'll be sharing with you guys recipes that are pantry friendly, they're 100% vegan, and they're easy to make. So, that's the whole idea. The whole idea is not to go out and buy lots of groceries or some of the ingredients that are hard to find. I've created all these recipes with staple ingredients that most of you guys probably have on hand. Um, and if not, I will provide substitutions for literally almost every single ingredient in the recipe um, so that you can make it with whatever you have at home. And don't forget, if you make today's recipe, you can post a photo of it um, in the comments below. You have about a day or two to post the photo and I will be doing giveaways every other day to people who participate and the giveaways will be um, the additions of my cookbooks. Um, they're digital cookbooks, but they're very, very handy. Um, they will teach you how to make 10 vegan meals in an hour. And I have a couple of editions of those and to mention that they're not for sale anywhere right now. So this is the only way you can get them is by participating in this challenge. Now, you don't need to participate in every single challenge, uh, but if you make a recipe or two, why not? Just snap a picture and post it and you can be entered for the giveaway. All right, so what is today's recipe? In today's recipe, we will be making vegan burgers. So the reason I picked vegan burgers is because one is it they're very easy to make and they have usually high protein because we're using some kind of beans and in today's recipe we'll be using one of my all-time favorite pinto beans um, which i love to use in vegan burgers because they have that very nice and meaty texture um and they're just like very delicious you know sometimes you need to change from lentils or black beans so pinto beans is the story today. Um, and, the, and also vegan burgers, the reason we're making them is because they're very easy to freeze. So it's perfect for batch cooking, for meal prepping. So let's say if today you have time, you can just double the recipe, double the batch and freeze the rest. And then you'll be set for the next time when you don't wanna cook and you just wanna grab it from your freezer and you can reheat it. Okay, and if you're just as excited as I am in making those, Pinto bean burgers. Let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're going to start by making flax egg. And for that, you need a tablespoon of ground flax seeds and three tablespoons of water. And we're just going to let it sit there for five to 10 minutes to let it thicken. Next, start by heating up some olive oil and caramelized onions. You want them to be nice and cooked. Then take out your pinto beans. Um, these are cooked pinto beans. I made them from scratch, but you can use it, the canned version as well. And what you're gonna start doing is mashing them a little bit. You don't want it to be completely mashed. You want, it, you want your mixture to be somewhat chunky. So here what the mashed pinto beans looks like and we're going to add tomato paste, our caramelized onions and our chopped cilantro or parsley along with some spices. Um, and then next we are going to add our flax egg which will help thicken everything up. And what we're going to do now is mix everything really good to make sure everything is well combined. So this is what the mixture looks like. It's somewhat chunky. And the next step is to add some flour. You can use gluten-free flour, oat flour. You can use all-purpose flour, whatever you have on hand, or breadcrumbs. And I'm going to use a combination of breadcrumbs and gluten-free flour uh, for today's recipe that I'm making. But you can also use um, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, some kind of thickener. And if you look at our mix, it's somewhat wet, uh, but also holds up really well. And here I've made some of the patties um, using one fourth cup, measuring cup. Um, I find that's the best 
ratio for the patties and then you transfer them onto the pan and you start cooking them as you can see they cook pretty well you probably need about three to five minutes to cook them then transfer them onto a cookie sheet or um, some kind of flat surface to let them cool and don't worry if your patties are somewhat soft they will definitely harden up as they cool so let them cool and then touch them and they should be hard and ready to go on a burger bun mm -hmm.